Another interesting demonstration. Here I have a Leyden jar, sometimes called a Leyden jar, which is so arranged as to be dissectable. Here is the outer conductor, here is the inner conductor, and here is the dielectric between the two. Now you know what we can do. We can charge the condenser, the capacitor, the Leyden jar, store some electrical energy in it in a manner which you know. Got to be careful with this. It could knock me down. How many would like to see me knocked down? <laughs> Colonel, we can get rid of those people right away. I'm getting a little trouble here, but stay with it, boys, stay with it. I think the Leyden jar has some charge. We'll discover that by connecting the... <laughs> I think there is some malicious animal magnetism afoot here, but watch it, watch it. Oh yes, enough energy there to knock down a horse. <laughs> now I'm going to do something which leads to some remarkable consequence. Watch me. I'm going to charge the condenser again. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's have it. going to disassemble the Leyden jar. Watch me. I'm going to take it all apart, connect the outer, the innermost, the middle, all of them. I'm even going to ground them. <coughs> <laughs> to reassemble the Leyden jar and a most remarkable thing is now witnessed. Watch it. The energy is still there. Now you must be really surprised by that because it is an enchanting thing to witness. I'm going to do it again and if any of these things I do again you must know the reason for that. It's because I like it. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Now I... I don't quite understand what's going on here, but it must be something. Again. Funny, I'm getting a discharge from the speaker. Sure. Speaker. Right. Right. Okay. I'm going to disassemble it again, just to be sure that there is no fluke in the matter. Major, come forward, please. <laughs> Let us see if the energy is still there. And it is. And there's some more, of course, because of the discharge of a capacitor. And I leave that for you to think about because it is very enchanting. Now, if a student of mine were to say, yes, professor, the energy resides in the dielectric, I'd ask him, prove that this is so. So I leave it as an exercise for you to give me a proof that the energy lies in the dielectric. <laughs> <laughs>